So one of the primitive ways to uh, determine direction is with a stick and shadow. And this is a pretty simple configuration. Um, it's pretty easy uh, to use. Basically what you want to find is a flat surface that's kind of got bare ground if possible. That really kind of works the best. This is actually a baseball diamond. <laughs> My boys and I are out playing catch and so I just thought I'd use the uh, time and circumstance to show this since it'll depict it fairly well. Um, what you want to do is just find a stick that's you know fairly straight and about 18 inches or tall or so. Kind of point off the top a little bit and then you're going to need some other little marker sticks. And all we're going to do to begin is set the stick in the ground and then we're going to take our marker stick, our first marker stick, and put it right there. And then we'll wait for a few minutes and we'll throw in a couple of others. And then we'll uh, see if we can determine what direction is what. Okay, so it has been um, uh, several minutes, I don't know, probably 10, 15 minutes, something like that, I'm not really too sure. Now I'm going to take my second stick and I'm going to go ahead and put it, watch out there bud, I'm going to go ahead and put it right at the tip of where that one is as well. Okay, and then we'll wait a little bit more and then we'll put another one or two in and we'll see what it gives us. Okay, here we are, another 10 or 15 minutes later to check on the uh, stick and shadow. And as we can see, it's kind of from the other side now. It's moved a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and take another stick. Put that. Right in the tip there. Okay. And what we can do then is now we have, have uh, fairly accurately established a line that runs right this way. Kind of like that. And what I'll do is I'll just take this stick and kind of put it up against right up the edges of where that was, okay? And then, what we do, once we've got that stick laid down, that will be our east and west running stick. So, ideally, over here is gonna be our west side. And you would know that by, you know, the direction that the shadows are being cast. And then this side is our east side. And then, now obviously this is not a uh, magnetic north and south, but then what we want to do is we want to intersect that at a 90 degree angle. And then this should be our north, and this should be, it's our celestial north. It is, here scoot back off the E there bud. Um, that is our celestial north, and then this would be our celestial south. Okay. So, let's take out, I got a little compass here. We'll take that out and see how that compares with the actual compass. This thing's cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool, isn't it? Okay. So, if you can see that. We're pretty close, you know. When you when you factor in the magnetic variation, um, you know it's gonna that's gonna work for you pretty well. Um, it is not an exact science. Um, it is you know it is a few degrees off. I mean, if we were gonna mirror that exactly, you know, this would be over here a little bit. Now, uh, for for general cardinal direction. This is going to work out really well. Um, you know, if you know that you generally need to walk north, then that's going to help you show it, or west, or whatever the case may be. Um, there are a, there is another way to do a stick and shadow, and uh, I will show you that one as well uh, in another video. So anyway, that is pretty much the way that you do it. Um, 
get your your main stick, put it straight into the ground, and you know about 18 inches tall. Uh, kind of have a, have a kind of a cleared off area. You know, like I said, this is a baseball diamond. It's really kind of the perfect area to do it because you can see the shadows so well. If you have grass and all that kind of stuff, what you can do is actually clear that grass off, kind of pull it down short so that you can see where the shadows are hitting. And then you just kind of wait a little bit longer, um, you know, between sticks. And here I only had to wait about 15 minutes because I could see it so well. Yeah, where the ground is a little bit rougher, you wait a little bit longer and it makes it a little bit more defined. So, anyhow, that is the basics of a stick and shadow. Hopefully you guys found this useful, and uh, we'll try to get back with you with some more videos here shortly. Thanks.